Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I wanted to take a few minutes and look at what went right and what went wrong at field day this year. Stick around and we'll jump right into it. Hey, before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to John Diliberto. Uh, John is my newest Patreon member and if you'd like to support the channel, like John, I'll leave a link down in the description below. So it was a struggle right out of the gate uh, going in uh, for field day this year. Uh, we arrived on site around 8.30 that morning and uh, was kind of watching radar. We knew that there were some storms maybe gonna hit us. Uh, it was kind of a 50-50 shot. Well, uh, turns out we got all 50% of that rain. Uh, so once the, once the storm set in, it came in about 10.30, so we never did start setting up. Uh, but once it came in, it came in with a fury. Uh, so we just kind of stuck around and waited that out. Afterwards, we did go ahead and start setting up, and I keep a 12 by 16 uh, tarp inside my Jeep. Uh, it's mostly used if we ever get caught out with the top off the Jeep and uh, do run into a storm. It's big enough that we can cover the whole Jeep. But since I didn't pack a tarp uh, in the go bag, uh, we decided it would be prudent to go ahead and deploy that 12 by 16 tarp. So that's what we did. Uh, and it's kind of funny because uh, one of uh, you guys, uh, screen name is RKAAG99, had actually suggested in my field day loadout video that I might want to pack a tarp. I knew I had that one in the Jeep though, so uh, it, it turned out okay. Now one of the really big winners this year, uh, and this is not radio related, I don't suppose, but I threw a hammock in my Jeep and deployed the hammock and that turned out to be my primary operating position. Uh, since I've got the access point on the Raspberry Pi, I was able to connect uh, from a few feet away with the iPad and run JS8 call all from the comfort of the hammock. That'll definitely be an item we'll take again next year. Uh, now, the personal challenge that uh, I told you guys about, if you watch the uh, field day loadout video, I was going to basically try to live out of that bag for a 24-hour period. Uh, so I tried to put enough food and snacks in there. Now, the one thing we didn't throw in there was water. Uh, there was no way to, to put enough water in the bag to keep you going for 24 hours. Had we have been close to a um, water source, we probably could have. Uh, because I do keep a Sawyer uh, mini water filter in there. But uh, being that there was no water source close by on field day, we did pack in water separately in coolers. But as far as the personal challenge uh, went uh, with the dehydrated food, uh, it, went, it went okay. I will say that if I was going to operate for a full 24 hours, I would have wanted a couple of more entree meals in there. Uh, we ended up and headed out about 5.30, 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, but we headed out early, so I didn't even eat the breakfast. Uh, but it, I, can, I, I know that had we have stayed out there uh, for the duration of Sunday, I would have probably wound up hungry before the day was over. All right, so let's talk about a couple of other things uh, before we get to the biggest failure of field day. Uh, first, the antenna, and I had planned to use my uh, homemade in-fed half-wave, uh, but it turns out another one of our members was having some issues with his antenna, so I went ahead and let him use that one, and I used the one from TN07 that I've used successfully in the past. The Raspberry Pi performed flawlessly. Uh, I, I've got absolutely no complaints with uh, the setup there and the things that we've been doing on this channel. Uh, JS8 worked great, the hotspot worked great, so all in all, I'm very pleased. This was the first field day I had completely relied on the Raspberry Pi, and I couldn't be happier with the performance. Hey, I'm kind of interested, guys. Did you have a failure on field day? If you did, leave it down in the comments below. So let's talk about mine, battery and solar. Now, first things first. This proved to be my most valuable accessory that I had out there on field day. It's a what's up meter. I plugged it up between the battery and the radio uh, and it told me exactly how much current I had drawn out of my battery. 
knowing when the battery's full, I've got about, uh, but somewhere between nine and 10 amp hours that I can draw on the lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, I could keep track of this and know approximately where I was at uh, with the battery level. So if you don't have one of these guys, I highly recommend it. I'll leave the link down in the description below. So the battery was my biggest failure this year. Uh, I, I changed over to the new, uh, the new style 10 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries and a 30 watt uh, solar panel by PowerFilm. So going through the day, you know, we had visitors coming through and whatnot. I would stop and chit chat with people. Uh, when I did, I would cut the radio off and right around sunset, uh, the battery was fully charged according to the solar charge controller. Uh, so I was tickled at that point uh, with its performance. I'd been running uh, 20 watts all day. So as we rolled into the night, uh, the battery only made it until about 3 a.m. Uh, at that point, I had pulled uh, 9.4 amp hours out of it according to the uh, what's up meter. And that was just all she wrote. Uh, being three o'clock in the morning, obviously it's pitch black dark, solar panel didn't do me any good. So trying to run a 24 hour operation on field day when you're just constantly hammering the radios, uh, 10 amp hours just isn't enough. So I'm going to be looking to upgrade. Uh, Dakota Lithium is coming out with a new 23 amp hour battery. I have no affiliation with them, but I love their batteries. Uh, so I'll probably wind up purchasing one of those when they come out later uh, in July. So that was my big failure. If you want to take a look at my complete after action report, I always write one after field day. It kind of helps me remember what went well, what didn't. Uh, I'll leave a link to that as well down in the description below. You guys, uh, it's a PDF, it's about five pages long. Feel free to download that, read through it. Uh, and I encourage you to create your own uh, after action reports just to help you uh, with your memory going into next year you can take and uh, read that and kind of see what worked what didn't maybe jog your memory on something all right guys thanks for tuning in thanks for your continued support your views your shares your likes uh, hey speaking of likes don't forget to like this one before you head off all right guys we will see you on the next video until then 7-3 and let the airplane get on by uh chainsaws I thought he was done and there goes the chainsaw again <laughs>